Hello there guys and girls, we're going to be doing a fan game let's play for once. Now um, I am playing with a keyboard today because for some reason my Xbox controller isn't being recognised by this uh, by this game, I'm not sure why. But basically we're going to be playing, I think just by reading the title you know what it is. Basically it's a fan game by Aaron Graphics, which is basically Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But it's a fan game. Now, unfortunately, this project has been discontinued. So, the most up to date version is from 2017, which I've got. So, I'm gonna just go into New Game. Now, it asks you Have you played the Kokiri Ferret? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> have you played the Kokiri Forest level already? Say no. Because you want to start from scratch, because otherwise you skip right over like half the demo. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. <laughs> now there's a few things you have to watch out for. Now, because I'm playing a keyboard and mouse, this is going to be a little bit hard to get used to. Now, why am I not able to splash? Oh, because I haven't got the sword yet. Oh well. <laughs> Now you'll notice straight away, you know, Link's supposed to like, uh, run with his arms out, swinging out much more than this, but oh well. Anyway, let's talk to Saria first. Okay. Hi Link, you can't see me rename him in this. <laughs> I'm Saria, your best friend, I guess. I won't hold you any longer. Go and explore the forest. You might find that it's not exactly as you remember it. Can you find all the secrets? <laughs> Now, if you go to the back of the house, there's actually five rupees hiding here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Found it. Cool. We've got five straight away. You might see some sweat coming on my face, but to be fair, though, I did go to the gym earlier on today and did like over an hour's worth of exercise, so you might see my face sweating a little bit. Right. Now, we're going to talk to this guy. This is the guy that actually made this stand off. Well, you know, it's like a self insert. Hey Link, I'm Aaron. I made this. No, I'm not gonna read that line. Sorry, but you are not one of those. I'm gonna see something cool or random? Yes. Look behind you. Right, there's this character here. Um, I can't remember where it's from though. I am the wolf. Alright, now let's go back. Kinda fits the Kokiri Forest, don't you think? Well, back to the game, bye! I love how he doesn't even disappear. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is climb up here. Because there's actually a few items up in this game that's not in the N64, you know, the official version. Uh, that's why I went to play this demo because it's like there's a lot of ideas that they put in there that's not actually in the official game anyway. Now you can't actually roll over. But oh yeah, yeah, that's good to do that. So if you go over here, the Lost Woods looks very different here. It's absolutely tiny to stand around. Right, if you look over here, this is a Metroid Prime reference. Another Nintendo series. I think that sound effect is also from Metroid Prime. Alright. The Chozo have best on best out upon you the ancient technique of the Morph Ball. Use it to get in tight areas or just screw around the game world. Equip it, blah blah blah, let us let us uh, test it out. Basically if you press F, you can roll around like same as Aaron. <laughs> And you can even travel faster! So I'm going to be running around quite a fair bit like this. Now you need to come here first now to get that because there's a small road. There's actually a small tunnel. That's actually just down here. Now if we roll around here, you know, we should just go back to the human form. I love how in the message box it literally says, Oh, you could go back to being boring human form. But actually, I like this form better than more form. <laughs> but anyway, it says, Not a bug! In other words, it's not a glitch that you can actually go through here. No, no. We need to talk to two people in order to get another item. Hey, talk. 
How the hell did I get here? And how did you transform from a ball? Anyway, I have more of a serious concern right now. I got separated from my friend. And it's kind of lonely in this part of the forest. I don't even know how to get out of here. So you go find him for me, okay? Right. Now we need to go get the Kiri knife. I can't remember if the balls are here. I thought that, I thought that the balls are here. Right, okay. Let's go get all these little pieces. Now the layout of this area is a little bit different to the N64 version. So some things will be exactly the same. Right, let's get in here. <laughs> yeah, baby, now we're talking. Use B to swing your sword. No need to equip it or anything. Besides, this thing already has one type of sword, so yeah. Right. Now, for some reason, this slot is a little bit different. This slot is like that. Oh. This slot is like that, but it's like that. You're supposed to do like full swings. It looks like you're doing like half swings. Now you can't actually charge with your sword, and you can actually move at the same time, like, you're not actually walking. So, <laughs> actually, uh, they actually made it a little bit different in this game. In this game not even. Okay, like I said earlier, it is too bad that he actually just continued it, but oh well. Right. Oh yeah, there's another guy up here that you, that you talk to. And all you have to do is talk to him, say, like, bro! <laughs> Invisible item. I am the one. Don't weigh a ton. Don't need a gun to get respect or up on the streets. Now, if you do, if you can do something called a dab. Basically, you just go like that. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really do much, but oh well. Oh, is there something to do here? I can't remember. Alright, let me just, let me just talk some out real quick. Right, okay. Oh, I forgot that you can actually save it. <laughs> right. Now, I think I, I believe I'm actually playing it on the highest setting, so... If you think, oh, these graphics are already even good, it's just like, well, do you remember that this is actually 2017? So, of course, there's not going to be, uh, There's going to be a big, huge improvement in graphics from 2017 to 2021. People that say, oh my god, the graphics in all these retro games are so bad, I was well, well, and you're stuck with your own opinion out here. Anyway, we need to go back up here. <laughs> I don't understand why people care about graphics that much. To me, it's basically gameplay of uh, music and music over graphics. And then, everything else. Okay, we need to stop this up. Hi! Nice to meet you! My name is... Pepe Banana. You might recognize it from a very popular YouTube video. It's called A Great Game. I'm on this mountain to find the strength to become the best that no one ever was. I think some people might know what this is. What this is a reference to. Do you like my mustache? Yes! Nice! Hey, by the way, have you seen my friend? I seem to have lost him. If you see him, tell him to come over. We have some training to do. Now what you have to do is you have to go back to that other guy. Now if you use a wheel, you have to make the team of different uh, items. So we're gonna go straight back to him. At least you can travel faster I guess. Oh by the way, there's a really cool uh, <laughs> thing. Which I won't say right now, but it's something pretty cool that I will be showing sure later on. Oh come on, let me just stop for a second. What? You found my friend? Nice, I'll tell you what. I was thinking of raising this creature, but since I already have one, I'll give it to you. <laughs> this is going to get hilarious real quick. Well, that is strange, but who really cares? You have a Pokeball. It contains Bulbasaur. Well, actually, it's not Bulbasaur, and I'll show you who it is real quick. Equip it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I can't be bothered reading everything. Right. Now if you... Press F twice. <laughs> it's actually Charmander, and I have no idea why he's actually saying squirts or why he's actually Charmander. <laughs> and no, he doesn't actually attack enemies. There's only one enemy he'll attack in the whole game. 
but I don't know why to put this in the game. But it's just really funny. It is a nice touch, it's like, yeah. it's like Pokemon and Zelda. I mean, you know that there's, I, know, I understand there's like Smash Brothers, which has got Mario, Pokemon, and a ton of other Nintendo characters in it, and some Flare Party characters. But, yeah. Anyway, we need to go get some more rupees, because I've got 25 right now. Right. Alright, let's go we need to go get some more rupees. <laughs> we need Foxy, I believe. So it's going to be a little bit hard to try and get a lot of them. Because I'm running out of stock to get some more. Now, if you go into the water, this actually looks really nice on here. I mean, I can pan the camera below links. It's like, wow, this actually looks pretty nice. This is a waterfall here. I think I forgot to take the waterfall real quick. It doesn't really add much to the gameplay, but. But hey, look how real this that water looks. <laughs> is there anything behind there? No, it's nothing. Right. Oh well. Right, let me see if I get some more VP. Right. You know, I could just small fall, but I don't want to like... Oh, there's one here. Don't ever enter this door. Poison darts, man. Is that really true? That one, but... I need a minute. I need a minute. Uh, black top. Why is it called black top and nothing happens? Nothing even happens, you don't get darted. <laughs> okay, now if you climb across here, you can get some easy rupees here. Alright. Oh, there's another 5 rupees in the distance up there, but I don't know how you can actually get. Oh, you jumped from there to there, okay, I got it. Gotcha. Right, okay. Have you ever met the guy that's off the waterfall? Oh, OMG! He's like so hot. I have no idea what to say now. But then it is a fun game, so anything possible at this point. <laughs> now, believe it or not, even if you can't get 40 rupees, you can just save it and reload, and then all the rupees respawn. So you can actually just do that real quick. Oh yeah, he's the guy who sells you the seal. For some reason, he's just not in there. So you have to go up to him and go get it. Go get the seal not in there. So, let me just respawn all the rupees real quick. Right, we're going to select continue. And get all the rupees to respawn. Right, the problem is that you have to see this little clip every time you reload the game. And you always start off at Link's house. <laughs> That's the thing. That's one of the things with this uh, 2017 demo, which is discontinued unfortunately, but hey. I love how there's like a magic bar in the top left corner, but yet we never get any magic in this uh, in this uh, demo. <laughs> now then, I've got 35, so I need to get some more routines. So uh, we'll go get the five more rupees here, because it should respawn by now. Right, I'm so surprised to put a Pokeball in this. <laughs> it's like, wow. Yeah, there we go, now we just need another two more. Actually, believe it or not, even after you buy the shield in this demo, there's actually other items you can buy. <laughs> and it costs a lot of rupees, so... Uh, on Hyrule Field, there's not really much of a spot in there, but on Hyrule Field there's a lot of rupees you can pick up in this one area and you can just keep getting it to respawn. Right, okay. We need to just jump across the area and that's it. Come on, can you climb that? You can't climb that! <laughs> well, it's not the exact same person who actually made the original version of it, so there we go. Come on, what's the other one? What's the other rupee? Yeah, that is nice. Right. I think I need to talk a little bit louder because you can't actually hear me half the time. Now oh, then, just need one more rupee. Where can I get the last rupee? Right, I think there's five rupees at the back of that house over there where Aaron Graphics is. <laughs> I can't believe! He actually calls himself a god. It's like, that's actually pretty arrogant. 
Is that basically him saying I'm above all of you? It's like, that, that's actually pretty arrogant to say. Like, honestly, you really shouldn't be saying stuff like that. Just say about yourself. No, 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 don't be arrogant. Uh, how do I jump across there again? Oh yeah, I can just... Um, can I actually jump? Shark hit if I want to actually jump. There we go, now we got it. Alright, we can get to here, you can actually stop that person there. Come on. Oh, he's actually... Ooh! Oh, I fell. Alright. Nice, you can target now. Remember that you can use LP to target irrelevant objects and enemies. I use it to reset the camera behind you. There we go. Alright, now the shop is actually this guy here. Tall. Hey dude, beautiful day, don't you think? Say, you wouldn't need a shield with you. I have a stamina. It looks just like my dog. It's 40 rupees though, I need cash. So, wanna buy it? Yes. Nice, I'm rich now, thanks bro! And it's the Deku Shield. Everyone loves the Deku Shield. You know the drill, use RT to bring up your shield. Use it to block effect. Well, because I'm playing it on t ball, I have to uh, use the shift button. <laughs> it's a little hard to get used to, but at least it, you just use the pinky finger. Got the left pinky finger. Now that we've got both items, now we can actually just uh, head right over to Mido. <laughs> oh, is he not Mido? Oh, it is actually Mido. I thought it was a generic boy here. Jiminy Cricket, you actually have them. Fair is fair. I'll let you pass. Also, take this. You'll need it. Oh, he should have said. Oh, is it? It's dangerous to go alone, take this! To make it a reference to the first Legend of Zelda game. But oh well, that's a missed opportunity. And I love how Mido just gives you a slingshot. <laughs> like he went into the Deku tree, <laughs> went into that one chest, picked the contents of it and passed it straight over to Link. You played this game already, right? Yeah. Now, interestingly enough about the slingshot, the slingshot is actually got a crosshair. Now, I'm gonna have to. Uh, does it actually exactly go? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, it does, it kind of does it. It kind of goes exactly where you need to. Right. I think there's some enemies here. Yes, there is. Maybe it's actually not in it. Those things look quite frightening. This is a massive version. Right. Ah! Yeah, they take four hits in this? I'm sure they only take two. Right. right. There we go. Oh no, there's another one. Always have to see a lot. I'm sure I Oh, how did I not get hit there? Went straight past me. <laughs> oh well. Oh no, they had to respawn after a while. But I think there's some enemies here. Can't Are there any rupees behind here? Yes, there's definitely enemies. Look at that, there's two. There's two of them here. And there's loads of them, there's not supposed to be this many. In the original version, these are not here. I think when you're older, is where monsters are invaded the Tokiri Forest, and I'm very sure there's massive Deku Barbers here in N64 version, but only when you're older. Older than N64. Right, so basically in the future. Right, okay. Let's go in. Now, unfortunately, you only get to fight the boss. <gasps> you don't get to do the whole dungeon. I love the graphics here, like, honestly. <laughs> now, there's actually Deku Barbers in this boss fight, so just don't go near them. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit funny here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a little dark in there, don't you think? I love how they're trying to make it scary. Even scary. <laughs> it doesn't even... <laughs> oh well. Right, now there's probably gonna be big frame drops here. Because this happens every time. 
Queen Goma! How is this a comedy? Now what now? Now I'm gonna I'm not down. Alright. Right. Charmander! I choose you! I know you're not supposed to say Squirtle. You're supposed to say Charmander. So I'm having this heart container. I earned this. Now where is it? I don't know where it is. Okay, that's not it. Where's the heart container? Where's the heart container? You know, the diamond is actually getting a bit annoying. I'm actually gonna put him back. <laughs> You do need Charmander, but it's only for this one. And I love how the Deku Barbers are still here. You think that they're all die. You chose your own like no. At least they don't attack you while you're in the middle of a tough scene. I can't find the heart container anyway. Do you, do you get one when you join here? No, you don't. I might have to find that one <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Right, so we're back out here. I have no idea where that heart container is. You automatically get it, I can't remember. Right, let's see the spiritual done one in 2017 sort of graphics. I think that is it. I think you might be able to fight Goma a second time, I don't know, depending. But, <laughs> look, I'm shining that in a bit. Oh, you do get the heart container automatically. That's why I couldn't find it. Sweet! You've defeated the boss as a reward. I think that's a typo there. Oh, it is a typo. As a reward, the great Deku tree has given you the Kiwi Emerald. Lucky for you, it's completely useless. Also, the Deku tree is now dead. Well done! <laughs> I love how they're trying to put a lot of humor in this. Now, let me just go save it real quick. Alright. Ah, okay. Uh, now we can actually go straight to... I'm gonna go... Well actually, I wanna check something real quick. Can you fight Goma a second time and keep uh, grinding for high containers? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just testing, so we'll just have a little look. <laughs> I love how realistic the grass is, so I mean look at that. That looks fantastic. By the way, I did use Unreal Engine for ages ago, but I couldn't get very far in it because it won't let me import one of my character models properly. Now, can you fight Queen Goma at second time? <laughs> Look at Deku Barber, like, nah, I'm waiting for you. I think they based that enemy off the piranha plants in Mario games, I'm not sure. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo did. I think you can actually keep going it when people are getting out of containment. Now this could actually be a little bit easier because I've got um, 10 whole lots of 4 hearts now. And it looks like to me you can't be fast as many times as you need to. <laughs> So even if you got bored and thought, you know what, I want to actually fight them again, you can. Right, let's keep it away from this. Keep it away from this, that's the bar there. This is a well eaten. Oh, this is an easier than the first time. Let's use a spin it. This is a long time. That's the thing. I think I need to talk a little bit harder because I can't actually do the music in the music. Wow. This is so easy! It's just even easier. It's not really not easy, but Queen Drama is even easier in this than the anime of this book here. I don't get it. I'm just trying to test, so apologies if, it, if I'm taking a while. I just want to just make sure and see if you can get a second half container or not just by going through here. And let's see if you get the Kokiri's Emerald a second time, which I think you can. I think so. But, but even then, the Kokiri's Emerald is uh, pointless, also known as the Spiritual Stone. <laughs> right. Yeah, it plays the cutscene again. That's actually really a bit strange. It's like, oh, technically I've got two of these now. <laughs> it's like, oh, but do I get a second half of the That will actually be very helpful for this hidden tunnel area that's actually on Hyrule Field. That's not in the uh, official game. Right? No, it doesn't look like you actually get a second half of the Yeah, I was just testing. No, no. I think I could just run past them. Yeah, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. Yeah, that's just wrong. I'm not wasting time on you. I've already eaten the normal forms already. Oh, there's this really cool thing. <laughs> I won't say what it is, but it's in place of Epona, the horse. I heard very loud noises coming from the great sticker tree. I hope he isn't dead or something. Like in the official game, he actually says, Oh no, the Deku Tree's dead, this is your fault! Yeah, and then he just goes off. He's like, yeah, my dog's not a fucking nice thing. Anyway, we can actually go to Hyrule Field! Now, this is where a lot of side quests actually come in this uh, play, and this is actually uh, just a demo as well. Yeah, too bad he didn't actually do any more work. I did go onto Aaron Graphics, uh, his channel, and it's where. Um, he did say, oh I keep getting copyright claims so that's why I can't actually uh, make any more videos or continue to project anymore because you know, if you get a copyright claim, you get no money. And it's like, wow, shouldn't fan games be free unless you've got permission of the control company if you're allowed to make something fan games? Yeah, they're just my two <laughs> I'm just trying to say, well, of course Nintendo are not going to like you trying to profit from their, uh, like, profiting science. Now, I'll be honest, it's a bit of a rant, but I do like Nintendo and all, but I don't understand why they won't let people make fan games for free. Now, if people are making fan games while profiting off fan games, yeah, yeah, you can, Nintendo can go ahead and, you know, see the disease and such. But if it's like, oh, well, no, not even one penny was made from making this fan game. So it's like, why are Nintendo going to turn down fan projects like Legend of Zelda The Missing Link and that Metroid fan game? I'm not sure. So I'm standing around a lot of stuff. So just, <laughs> it's a bit hard to talk and play at the same time. But there you go. Bye, Link! I love how he just says by length, that's, it. Like, that's all you say. Okay. Now then, let's go get my next item. Right, let's actually look at this marvellous forest. <laughs> I swear this is how it looked like back on N64 when I first played Oregon Time, when I was a lot younger. Man, time flies. 
think, I know this is supposed to be an emotional moment, but my character wasn't developed very well back there in the forest. Maybe we'll have more time to talk the next time we see each other. And I love how they say each other without a space between it. I have something to give to you before you go. It's actually very helpful, actually. I hope you will cherish this precious gift and never ever replace it with a better model. <laughs> in other words, it's referring to the ocarina time, which you get much later, the blue ocarina. But it's not in this demo, so. Promise me you kiss. Uh, I love how this thing doesn't really have holes in it. Oh well. Seria just gave you the Fairy Ocarina. Use it by pressing right D-pad or north on the keyboard. Oh, it's actually O. Oh, I forgot to tell you. O oh, for Ocarina. You already know some tunes, so try it, things out and see what works and what doesn't. Right, watch this lovely opening. Look at how nice that looks. It is a little bit fuzzy, I won't say, but hey. Look how nice that looks! I mean, how can you say that doesn't look good? <laughs> Believe it or not, I've come across PlayStation 3, PlayStation, PlayStation 4 games, which aren't even to that quality, I don't get it. Right. We know the Sun song straight away, we know Epona song straight away, we know the Lullaby straight away, so there's quite a few uh, songs that we know. I just tested out if Song of Time does anything, it doesn't do anything. And Song of Psalms doesn't do anything. Now if you go behind that rock, Keboro Geboro is actually here. You know, that annoying arrow. I think it's called Geboro Keboro, I can't remember which around it is. Now let's just go behind here. There he is. Now this gets really funny. Watch him, he's actually funny in a spam game. Did I scare you? No. I think you're lying. Well, actually, Mr. Owl Keboro Keboro, and that was spoiled, you were actually hiding behind that rock <laughs> in some other video and that was how I actually found this fan game in the first place so I'm not actually dying so I'm sorry but you got that part wrong I am Kibaro Kibaro oh it's not Kibaro Kibaro it's actually Kibaro Kibaro I can't even talk to you I'm an owl technically an owl technically speaking but I'm also a wise master Essentially, if you will. I just love to show people the way, you know? And stick the obvious, like we do in an official game. Like how to play the game. So get ready to mash the A button. Even he knows that people are sick of him. Let's start with the controls. You might have noticed that this game doesn't have keyboard controls listed on the UI. That's probably because the developer is lazy. He's not that lazy, he's actually pretty good at his own graphics. Look at these animations. Yeah. Okay, it's not that bad, but I've seen much worse animations than that, and I've actually made a few animations before. But I mean, at least it's nice 60 frames per second. I mean, look at that, look how smooth it is. Look how smooth the movement is. Look at these animations, this is really good actually. I've seen much worse. Ugh! Well, you've been flapping your arms for like probably about half a minute, so of course they're gonna get tired. And the dab? I mean, come on, that's so 2016. Anyway, the controls. Mouse click is B. <laughs> Spacebar is A. Why is it the control stick? O is the ocarina. And then M out of the selection. Select. The meta title there for a while. Selection and using maps. You know what? The developer actually has a, a TXT file listing all of this, just look at that. Oh, you're using a controller? Well, this is awkward. Well, actually, I'm using a keyboard and mouse. So you got that part wrong as well, Mr. Kebora Kebora. Then I will teach you something else. I love how it says the, a little eye and not a capital I. <laughs> Play opponent's song to call over the horse. It makes traversing this area more enjoyable. Oh, you will see you in a, in a minute who's actually placing that. That's quite funny. Are there any typos in this text? I don't know, there is no chance I'm going back to check. Oh, this is annoying. I think I'll stop now. Psych! That's the wrong number. There's a moth ball tunnel where the spinning pineapple spawn. Bet you weren't expecting anything useful in here. Okay, seriously, I'm done. Get ready for the question. 
stop pressing A. Do you want to me to repeat that? No. Okay, bye. Right. Let me go and save that. Right, okay. Now we have to be careful because there's actually skeletons that come out at night, just like they do in the official game. Now, there's actually a hidden tunnel where there's actually three heart containers. Now, watch this. This is gonna get funny. Actually, I may as well turn it daytime first, so we'll go. Anyway. Oops. Right. There's actually skeletons out at night, so watch out. Where's the skeletons? I don't see them. Now, there's a happy mask guy somewhere here. Where's the skeletons? They're not even coming out for some reason. Yeah, it's proper dark. You can't even see where you're going. Yeah, it's made it proper, proper dark. I think you really don't know where you're going. You can always get attacked while actually using the ocarina, believe it or not. You know, we'll turn it daytime. Right. Okay, all the skeletons just died, they were just too far away. <laughs> now then, watch this, this gets really funny. Right, I'll go get my, uh, Charmander out. It's <laughs> Charmander, not, not Squirtle. Now watch this, now then. Oh, what's the song? What is this? Right, watch this, this gets really funny. Where is it? Where is it? I'm waiting for it. It's not here. It's not coming. Oh, there it is! It's the F Zero car! <laughs> this is gonna get hilarious. No, I love this thing so much. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the horse, but this, this is actually really cool, and you'll know why. Right, and I love how Charmander's got a helmet on, and watch how fast he is. Now don't worry, I don't, I do not drive like this. Hey P Hop, I'm gonna make you kill all of you. You're all dead, so I'm gonna let you I'm gonna make you all in right now. Kill them all, it takes ages to kill them all, and the pop is getting away. This makes so much so much better, I will look so much better. I love how music stops me. I think I'm going to be all of them. Right. I think I'm going to be all of them. That's what they're called. They're called. Oh, it's going to have to be back up on that. Just be careful not to enter water because it's going to have to get their power to go. This is not a little bit better than if it's just the inch power, you know, you've got their power. Oh look, this is the uh, Lake Hillier area. Right, there is a hidden tunnel here, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, to get out, you just press C. Right. I think you can pick up a few rupees while you're actually killing those pea hearts. Or oh, you get nothing, I can't remember, but you don't get any... You do, you do not get much for actually killing those pea hearts with the car. I love how the car never gets damaged. Now, don't worry, I don't actually drive like that in reality. If I did, I'm pretty sure I'd be in jail right now if I do it or crashing into everything on purpose. Mm. <laughs> mm. Right, okay. Let's get back in here. Uh, car, where are you going? <laughs> I'm obviously not getting stuck in here. Right. Alright, there's a lot of these keys in my head, guys, so we're gonna need. Don't get hurt, it only makes it slow. You know, in reality, if I practice that, a lot of big pineapple things in reality, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I would have broke my car right now. There's a lot of reasons. Oh no, 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 don't get it stuck. It's okay. It's okay. Now then, there's a lot of reasons here. Now, you can actually get these to respawn. Pretty easily. 
just by uh, resetting the game. Well, obviously save it first, then reset the game, and then reload the game even, get back here and get back to your 120 rupees. Now the problem is that you always start at Link's house. So it's going to be a little bit hard to traverse and get back to the game and get to the and also tail on something here. You know, despite the fact that I played Ocean and Time so many times, the official version, obviously, I can't even remember. Oh, I think that has been nice guys from my head. Oh, look, there's the tail on. Ah, okay. Now, here is Taylor, who lo totally looks like Mario. How did that come, boy? And welcome to Long Run Ranch. I'm Taylor, and I own the ranch together with my brother Ingo. I'm sure he's not actually his brother. Did it, why, why did it say in the official game that Ingo's actually his brother? I'm sure he's not actually his brother. I think it says worker, and that's it. As you can see, these rocks have blocked the entrance to the ranch. What's worse is that my precious Maylon is stuck inside and I need to get back to her. If only there was a way. I'd even jump over there if I... If o I... I don't know, maybe I can... I'd even jump over them if I... Only I could. I, is that a over there? I'm not sure that's not quite how you say it. Basically he wants to be able to jump. Now... That's a big, big Mario reference, especially since he looks like him. Now if you go over here, there should be a cellar. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot to save it because I actually got a lot of rupees. Ow! Michael Jackson. I just realised I still don't have the one uh, heart refill yet. I can't believe you can't actually... Uh, that's a happy mask guy. Yeah, sorry to spoil it, but it's a happy mask guy. Now let's go play the song song real quick. And the wall is still inside. And just slowly shuffle up to you. Oh, I think he's right there, isn't he? I can't find him. That's the Happy Master. Oh, there he is. There's the Happy Master. I was looking all over for you. I just, all I remember is that um, he's close to Lanon Ranch. So I thought, oh, there he is. The graphics seem to be a fun time. Right. <laughs> Greetings, Traveller. Allow me to introduce myself. I am in a small shop inside Hyrule Town called the Happy Mascot. Masks and hats for everyone! Mm -hmm. Would you care to buy one of my masks? <laughs> Take a look. Now then, believe it or not, the best one's actually that one. <laughs> Probably the only reason I'm still doing business. Now unfortunately I don't have 200 rupees, so I'm gonna have to try and fight a lot of them. That is actually very helpful for this one fight. Now, I don't know whether really I should actually get that now or not. For some reason that one doesn't cost anything, so I'm never gonna get that now. So it's like, oh god, please take it. I want nothing to do with it anymore. I was like, uh, that's really funny because <laughs> because it's like he actually wants it back, but in the spam game he doesn't want it. I don't know. It make sense. Yeah, uh, well traveller, I don't know why you'd want to walk around like this. I did see a quick video that someone made where you can actually make Majora actually squeak and all the enemies like die but for some reason you can only use that attack at night and second of all I can't get it to work even when it's night time so I don't know how to uh, get that to work so I can't really show that I might be able to show it in at the end of the video I don't know but it's not it's not a, it's not that great of a mask <laughs> but it but the bunny mask is definitely mm -hmm. better. Right. Mm. Right, where is it? I can't move. I can't move my oh there we go. There we go. Right. Okay. So we need that one for Taylor. We need that one for another NPC. And we need that one to be able to travel us very easily. Across areas. Right. Uh, but then we have got the car, so we don't really need that. Uh, we'll just get that one. So, you want to buy this mask? Yes. 
that out, shovel it. No. Oh. Wait a minute. Dude, dude. You wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you now, would you? It looks like it's something for me. <laughs> now, as you can tell, this is actually a trainer red cap. You can actually switch between masks by pressing N. <laughs> now, we're gonna go over there real quick. Put this thing off the and just travel a little bit faster. Now, there's like a soldier NPC over there. Now, this guy's really hilarious. <laughs> this is, you'd never see it in the legend of the game, not even an official one. <laughs> you only ever get to do this here. Alright, I don't have the mask on. Now, make sure that you've got the mask on when you go up to him because one ability is only available if you've got this exact mask on otherwise you don't get that one ability. Right. Wait! Oh no wait, it's actually hold. Stop right there! I see you have a Pokeball with you. That means that you are an official Pokemon trainer just like me. As per true po as per trainer tradition you walking in front of me must mean you are challenging me to a fight. So, prepare for trouble and we can double. This gets hilarious. It's like, what? <laughs> What's on graphics thinking? <laughs> squirtle, squirtle! No, it's Charmander, not Squirtle. Now, what's this? <laughs> it's like, Mewtwo, what's he doing here? Now, it is very, very important. You actually have that cap on, so Kamehameha, which is the best ability out of the four, is only available if you've got the cap on. If you don't have the cap on, this one's just blank. Now, every other attack is just not very helpful, so we're gonna have this use here. Right. Then, there you go, we win. Believe it or not, that attack can actually miss. And the sad thing is that you don't actually win any rupees or anything. Because I'd love to get some rupees right about now. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> now I'm going to show you what happens if you really suck at it and do it wrong. Right, these rupees have respawned so we'll quickly go get them all again. Oh wow, there's lots of them! Right, okay. We're almost back to where we are. I still haven't actually got my one hearts back yet. <laughs> the I can't I don't know a quick area to gain hearts back, make it get health back. Now then, I'm gonna show you what happens if you actually really suck at this. Alright. Come on. Talk to me. There we go. Halt! Yes it is halt, not not wait. Right. Now I'll show you what happens if you do really badly and not have the trainer cap off. Now you can actually still win without Kamehameha, which is clearly a Dragon Ball in my place. So I'll show you what happens if you just use the other three attacks. Because I didn't let you to even attack me. <laughs> right, we'll try Ember. <laughs> and I love how it's also just all the time. Look at his face. You two use Psychic! I love how he actually said Oh my word, I'm doing so badly. Now, I'm trying to end the This is how badly you do when you don't actually use the cap. Right. Good job you don't actually use the piece of cap. Nothing actually happens. It's like, oh no, the Hyrule soldier actually won. <laughs> I need to go to a Pokemon Center to go <laughs> heal him up. Yeah, see, look, my rupees are exactly the same, 224. Nothing even happened. Now, for some reason... Right, let me... more off. I might have to fast forward it a little bit, because it does take a little while to actually travel without the uh, F0 car. <laughs> that reminds me of Captain Falcon going, Show me your moves! Oh no, we need to avoid him, otherwise he'll want me to talk about that all the second time. Right, I have no idea why, but there's some proper nice looking flowers here, but there's like no hearts here. Now, if we go to this guy, 
They're not really saying much, they're just really nice detail here. Yeah. And they've locked up these flowers. Right. Roses are red and violets are blue. I am wasting my life and so are you. Yeah, I used to listen to that song. It's, I think it's made by a company, not company, by a band called Aqua. I think. I think so. And they're the same people that sang. Uh, I'm a Barbie girl. Uh, in a... I can't remember all the lyrics. <laughs> right. I don't think there's anything hiding behind here. I don't remember. I just need loads more rupees, that's all. <laughs> Like Charmander, you did dreads with the Kamehameha. I thought you used that against Queen Goma and the other enemies. That would have been great, but oh well. Now you'll see a lot of fences around here. It's basically blocking you off because obviously this is a demo. And since it's discontinued, there's not a lot that's going to be happening here. But I do like the side quest we've been doing this demo. It's like, wow. Right. Too bad you don't get to uh, uh, learn the spin attack move. Look at that. Oh, look at the fence, it's nice and 3D. <laughs> now if you talk to him, he'll just say things like, oh, it's not working. So, sorry little guy, but this area is blocked for now. We are fixing the overpopulation of chickens in this area. They are turning violence. The horror. Oh no, the skeleton's here. I can't even... Come on, out my way. Oh no. They can actually hurt me. Right. Right, let me quickly... Right, next. Right, where's my... Can you like, screech? Right, I really need to kill them real quick. I don't want to die. Not while I'm on camera. Can I just get attacked while I'm actually, um... <gasps> right. You can actually get attacked while actually using the ocarina to go no. Ah, I can't believe they take a whole heart off. And why did you not help me? I could have died. <laughs> right. I don't have the bunker anymore. Oh well. You're gonna have to take it off, but I have no idea why you'd wanna uh, have to turn a hat on outside of that one fight. Now then. Now, there's actually that, there's still that hidden tunnel to get to. It's actually pretty interesting because it's not actually in the episode game. Uh, I need some hearts. Where can I get some hearts? I honestly don't know where to get any hearts like at all. You know what, it would just be faster if I just uh, use the car. Right, come on, FC Rocker, I know where you are. Uh, the rider I say, I need you right now. Alright. Uh, I love how the Charmander's just chilling out with a Captain Falcon and a helmet. Where are you? Alright. Uh, Happy Mask Guy, where are you? There you are. Alright, press E to get out. Alright. We can travel there. Oh, right, we've already done this. Alright, we're definitely buying that right now. This is actually one of the best items in the whole demo. Right. We're gonna have to run a lot faster now, just like in Majora's Mask. But sadly the car's still better in most instances, but hey, at least we got it now. Now trying to get two more hearts is gonna be really hard. The key heart! Get out of here. Key heart is in Jaws Mask. I can't believe they actually respawned. Oh, get out. Come on. You need to drive slowly this time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you actually get anything. Right. Hey, you're supposed to die, not survive. You're weak against a car, now hurry up and die. There we go. Now, apologies if I'm saying die a lot, but it's like, well, <laughs> what else can I say? If I didn't turn all, oh, I can't even use Earth today. Don't worry, I don't die like this. 
It's so different when you're driving a car in a video game compared to doing it in real life. Of course, I know that I can crash as much as I want. It's just so great being able to play a video game and you can crash all you want and it's not affecting your insurance premium or anything. Like that. <laughs> it's just so funny. Right. Uh, I think it's where on earth I'm gonna get some heart. Gladly need some heart. There we go, we can Right. Where do I get some hearts? Yeah, this area is like completely sealed off. There's no ladder here. I think there is a ladder here? Well, there isn't an official version, but let's hook it out because obviously it's a demo. I don't think you can climb over this. It is nice to just explore around, even if it's like, oh, just came across the wall. <gasps> now then, I have to be really careful here. I might have to reload to the get some options. Just to get those like rupees to like, uh, respawn. And then get that last map, or uh, well, the half. Now then, now that we're here, we can talk to this guy. There's not going to be a lot going on, but hey. Hey, let me talk to you. And you're not going to talk to me? I'm sure it said talk. Right. Squirt all. I'll rather try to say Charmander. You need to go back in here. There we go. There we go. Princess Zelda gave me strict orders to block all exits to the desert. The bridge that leads to the Gerudo Valley is broken and someone might get hurt falling off the cliffs. Some people have tried getting across the gap with weird chain contraptions. Or God forbid having their horse jump over it. Yeah, I'm you don't get a horse. I wonder, if, I wonder if you could actually fly right over that. Wombo combo. I forgot to actually say that different. Right. Now then. Right, there we go. Oh, there we go, we got a house. Oh, that's how you actually get one. <laughs> you could just keep going them over and over. That is so cool. I was wondering how you can actually get them back. Right, we need to get some sharp shooting skills. Oh no, I just lost another heart. Come on. Give me my half back. There we go. There we go. Now that we got full hearts, now we can actually <laughs> get back to the uh, hidden passageway in a few other areas. Right, let's go. The thing with this uh, with this demo is that there's not very many ways to get back to health. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm thinking, uh -huh. I swear I came across this glitch. That's the one made on this exact uh, hand game demo where you can actually lose all your health and still walk around with no health and otherwise you're basically like undead. <laughs> so you technically can't as if you've got infinite health in that regard. Oh yeah, I forgot that I've got the bunny hunt now. So I can just go ahead and do this. There we go, much better. <laughs> Oh, let's go through this again. It doesn't even save it after you go through it the first time. I mean, it looks nice and all, but it can get a little bit annoying on the gameplay side of things. <laughs> remember, gameplay over graphics. I mean, I love graphics, but gameplay is also is like twice as important, I think. <laughs> otherwise, I'm never watch a movie, like someone said. Uh, why do I only have two hearts? I just went and got some hearts. And now I can't actually have them back. Uh, did it not save it? And I don't know. Right, we're gonna have to uh I think if you kill the pea hearts, I think you might be able to um get some hearts back off them. Now this is really dumb on my part. Now I don't like dying in like this all the game. Right. Okay. Right. 
They're not as rude, but I think if you get close enough, they do actually not get in your way. Right. I can't believe it didn't save it after I got back to those hearts. Like, that is so unfair. Now I have to go look for that hidden tunnel. I don't know how, where it is exactly. Now you need the moth ball in order to do this. But the jet obviously is like a little tunnel. Now because I'm kidding, now because I'm young range that I should be able to crawl through it like no problem. I was like no you have to use the moth ball. I was like oh well. No, no, I no. This is going to take a while. <laughs> I mean, I do like these graphics, but, you know, it's like, they could at least make the hidden tunnel a bit easier to find. Oh, I went straight to the wall. <laughs> Look at that. They didn't even fix that at all. The devil got rid of the pea hats earlier, because now I can actually, uh, travel this around here a bit better. Apologies that I'm going a little bit solid now, but I am trying to find it. Where it is. Come on where it is. I think I'm very close to it. Is that it? No, no, no. Trying to find it. Oh, I think, I think that's it. No, it's not. I think I might have been past it. Oh no. There's one here. I thought I killed that one. from me. I think they all respawn if you play the song song. So it comes with new days and they all come back. So oh, I get it now. Man, it's just as always the main. Because <laughs> we got that to draw on here. Right. Right, if you go to the guy who's blocking the Zora the main area, he basically just says this. <laughs> Sorry, no access to this area allowed. Besides, if you want. If you went there, you would have to talk to that owl again, and you don't want that, do you? <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> it's like, people go around saying, oh I hate the owl so much. It's like, at least they made it funny in this demo. It's <laughs> like, breaking the fourth wall a lot. Alright, let me get my bunny hood on. Alright, next, next. There we go. Now oh, this really is a bit better. It's definitely around a really grassy path. That's, I have actually done this before, I just can't remember where it is exactly. It's definitely along this wall somewhere. I think it's in the grassy path. I can't remember. Now I've only got two hearts, so I have to be very, very careful. Whoa! I'm floating in midair. No idea what was going on there. No. At least I made the pea hearts extinct because they've been getting in my way right about now. It's definitely near from the pea hearts. It takes ages just finding it, that's the problem. Oh, come on, where is it? I think it's, it's literally, I remember it's definitely near from tall grass. Hmm. 
Oh, I think it's there. It's right there. I actually found it. It's near some trees as well. Now then, let's mothball. Where is it? I can't believe it. I actually found it. It's so hard to find. Right, we're gonna have to make it a daytime so that the skeletons aren't there. There we go. Now that we made it daytime, now I have to be really careful because there's some blooming. Uh... Right. That's the same shot. Oh look, heart refill. And some Deku nuts. Well, Deku seeds. Now I think these guys actually eventually respawn. Yes, they do. Now there's some massive ones coming up. Right. Ooh, nearly got me. Right. Now then, this part's actually really hard. This actually took someone else like more than half an hour. Now, unfortunately I can't use the car here, so I can't get rid of these pea hearts. But if you uh, leave them alone, it's alright. Alright. Let me just... Ooh. <gasps> the camera's going a bit iffy. Now then. Go over here, oh no. Those look pretty frightening. They're all guarding a treasure chest. Hmm, well I did swallow it a little bit earlier, but there's actually three heart containers inside of that. But they kind of function as like, uh, what's it called? Uh, temporary hearts, kind of like the yellow hearts in um, Breath of the Wild. Uh, right, I think we can just run for it. Right. Quick, 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 Right, I don't know how many hits we've got. Ooh, did it take three hearts off? Wow. <gasps> I'm definitely not finding those things. Oh no. That thing took three hearts off here. I can't believe that is not a good idea. And they don't even repel. So what was the point in that? There is, it is a nice looking area for a hidden area that's not even in the N64 one but basically after you kill all of them all you get is three temporary hearts it's, it's claiming to say yeah you can take a lot more hits now but the problem is uh, that kind of wasn't worth it only the first heart container was actually permanent now if it was three heart containers and it was actually permanent rather than it being pretty much yellow hearts from Breath of the Wild that would have been a lot better now there's only one other thing I can actually showcase in this demo. And that's it. <laughs> We're done with the hardest part of the whole thing actually. Alright. Uh, give me some more speed. Right, there we go. Oh, yeah, you got five? Alright. Come on, get I got no more. Yeah, we'll just leave you with your injuries. <laughs> but yeah, you can leave those injuries for the rest of your life. Right, that's that was like the hardest part and that's the then tunnel part. Now then, let me go get some rupees real quick. <laughs> wow, I do like the sunlight in this area. I mean look at that, that actually does look pretty realistic for 2017. I did say earlier on with people saying, oh, Oh, graphics matter so much, it's like, well, of course, graphics does play a good, does play a good part 
in video games, but it's they're just forgetting about the gameplay. <laughs> Once there was this game, I think I can't remember which game it was called. I think it was called Prey, P R A Y or something. And I like saw it. I was like thinking, you know, the graphics of this game is actually really good. But when I saw like the gameplay, I think it was Prey anyway. Is where when I saw the gameplay side of it, it was like it was just it was just so repetitive. It was just like. If, if you only care about graphics in a game, you may as well just be watching a movie. <laughs> and uh, someone else did point that out, which is why I also copy off the other night to say, yeah, graphics don't matter that much in a video game. I mean, with games like Minecraft, I mean, I've actually got the Minecraft game. Now, people will be like saying, oh, why don't you actually uh, let's play that game? It's like, well, because there's thousands upon thousands of uh, let's play of it. So, <laughs> There's not really much point let's play a game that virtually everyone on the planet's actually already done let's play of. So you know. And you might be thinking, oh why don't you do an Ocarina of Time remake, uh, an Ocarina of Time uh, official play for them. You know, the official game like the N64 one or the, uh, what's it called, the 3DS version. That's a great idea as well, but because I'm recording it on PC, how am I going to be able to record an N64 game? Uh, I do have the N64 version, it's just, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't have to record for, on a screen, and no, please do not tell, tell me, oh, just use emulators. I'm not a big fan of emulators, unfortunately. I, 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 I don't like the recordings, I mean, let's just say that. I don't like breaking words, we'll put it that way. <laughs> So even if I can get away with speeding at 100 miles an hour with nobody watching me, I wouldn't do it anyway because I know I'm going to crash into someone. And that's real driving. Now there's some soldiers around here somewhere who are all saying, oh I don't get paid enough for this. I can't remember where they are. Now if you had to come to this exact spot, this is where you get the F0 car. This is where you access it. But I didn't know that a song actually summons the car. And for some reason I just played it, uh, the Epona song, and it didn't even um, thingy. It didn't even summon. So it just like disappeared, so I'm not sure what happened there. Now then, there's only one more mask I need to get. So it's more like a half. Now where are the soldiers going? Who actually goes around saying, Ooh, I don't get paid enough to uh, guard this one elf. I can't remember where he is. I'm not sure where he is. Oh well, we'll go get the mask first. Hmm. Yeah, it is a bit sad that we don't have the car anymore. For some reason, it's just not there. Oh, it's the pixie version and there's no enemies around. <laughs> hey, Mr. Happy Mask Guy, you need to give me that last mask. I need to give it to someone else directly afterwards. Greeting Traveller, yes, you've done that already. Now oh, then. Oh, Mario's out, there we go. There we go. Now, we won't actually, uh... Oh no, that's still inside on the way out. And it's really hard to see where you're going even at night, so we are going to play some song. Right, where is it? Right. Oh, they're right behind me. <laughs> you can actually, I can't believe you in this demo, you can actually get attacked while uh, using the thumb song. Now then, let's go to Taylon. Mr. Taylon! There is a guy called Taren and he has a daughter called Marin in uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which is on the Game Boy, but it recently got remade on the Nintendo Switch. I'm like thinking, oh, so that's where Mail on the on from. <laughs> right, now if you talk to him while having that cap on. Give hat? Yes. What is this? Here we go! That's what happens when you do it. Now unfortunately you lose the mask. And now I why can't I control it anyway? Uh I can't move. Right. Oh, now I can. <laughs> I thought, oh no, I can't actually move. 
but I actually can now. Now, let's see. Yeah, you definitely use the mask. I think you have to rebuy it. But there you go, at least I got to showcase what happens. Unfortunately, you don't get anything for helping tail on out like that. So it's like, oh well. There are actually some random soldiers guarding a thing. Uh, an elf boy, this uh, cookie boy. I can't remember where he is, so I might have to lock that one up real quick. So we'll save it just to say, yep, yeah, we actually helped tail on out. But that's it. Now then, uh, I did stay in one of my really old videos. Oh, Legends of the Ogre of Time is my favourite game of all time. No pun intended, but. Basically, I did make like uh, top 25 video games of all time. I'll just tell you a few, right? First place goes to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Second place goes to Final Fantasy IX. And third place goes to Mystical Ninjas on SNES. <laughs> and yes, I did do a, a couple of Let's Plays on that. 1.1 uh, and 2.1. That's how much I like Mystical Ninjas on SNES. Now then, you talk to this guy. He says, all access to Hyrule Town denied. All is of Princess Zelda. Oh, that's not very. <laughs> well, that's very unlike her. <laughs> he didn't say anything all that exciting, but oh well. Oh, he says the exact same thing. Oh well. There's only a couple more, a few more NPCs. Man, I don't know. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Full of night and dark and full of skeletons. I have no idea what that does. Oh, I didn't do anything. Hmm. Let me test something. Right. 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 I do that squeak thing. I'm trying to figure out how to do that squeeze thing. There's this squeeze thing you can do, and I can't remember how to get it to work. And there's like a million of them, there's like a big army of them. Right, let's just play with some song. Ugh, I have no idea how you're supposed to do that squeeze thing. Oh, why is he like flowing <laughs> with all the Majora's mask thing? Right, let's just get the bunny hold on. So it's a little bit faster. There we go. Now there should be some soldiers here. Now apologies if I couldn't actually get to screech. But basically it goes and there's like a lot of dark energy and it kills all the skeletons. But I don't know how to get it to work. I tried to press every single button off screen. I tried to do it on screen but it just doesn't work. Now then, if you talk to this guy, he says Thank you so much for you playing my game. Oh, it's actually the iron graphics now. <laughs> Is that all he says? Huh. I don't get paid enough for this. Well, there's a lot of lovely red rupees just over there. You could just take that, can't you? I don't get paid. Oh, you could do that same thing. Oh well, may as well take these rupees. <laughs> it's like, I don't get paid enough for this. Like, there's some lovely rupees here which I keep collecting over and over. I think that's 120. Yeah, it's 120 rupees. Pretty easy. And I think that's pretty much it. The only thing I couldn't shock it. Oh, there's the kind of default position. Well, default uh, location. Even. But there you go. Now, I think that's pretty much it from this demo. Now, I do want to do another fun game. Uh, let's play on Ocarina of Time since Legend of Ocarina of Time is my favourite game. But you know, there's not a lot to do in this game, especially since um, Aaron Graphics fully confirmed that, uh, you know, he, he discontinued it like four years back, so of course there's not going to be a lot going on now, but there you go. Now then, let's save it, and let's just go into the main menu. And there is actually a Facebook page you can actually go on by Aaron Graphics, don't really need to check it out in this video. Uh, there's a few other things that you can uh, do. We'll go into this real quick. But basically it's saying, oh look, modeling, texturing, texturing, rigging, animation, everything is done by uh, Aaron Graphics. Except the 
boss music, which is a remix, and it was done by the Noble Demon. Uh, I have checked out the Noble Demon's uh, channel a little bit, but you know, uh, so the Pokemon Battle theme is obviously from the Pokemon anime itself. It's like it's not even remix; it's just the exact same song. It didn't even bother remixing it, but oh well. <laughs> the F Zero cover, which is actually pretty cool to listen to, that's done by Gamatel, Johnny Atme. I've not heard of him very much. The Link model and textures. I'm not sure if Hyrule Warriors is an actual person. I'm not sure. The Deku Tree model, Hyrule Warriors again. I don't know if they just like pulled the assets from the Nintendo game and just put it there and just thought, well, it's a fun game anyway. So it makes sense that the Deku Tree would look like the same here than it would in Hyrule Warriors. And I don't know. I'm not sure. I hope they didn't just like pinch someone else's thing and just put it in the game because that's very professional. <laughs> we'll just say that. So it's like, oh look, Link Model and Texture, the My Hyrule Warriors. I think that's the username. I think that's the username of a person. I'm not sure, but there you go. Deku Tree Model done by Hyrule uh, Warriors again. I don't know if it's even more than one person called Hyrule Warriors because sometimes YouTube channels is owned by more than one person. Like let's say Cube, I can't remember their name, but it's called Cube X 55 I can't remember his name, there is nothing bad, so it's okay for me to say their name. It's where that account is actually owned by more than 10 people, so it's where it says the Let's Player's name at the bottom of the uh, playthrough at the start of every Cube X 55 video. So yeah, I think the Hyrule Warriors name is actually a bunch of people. So, but that doesn't make sense because who goes around saying, okay, we're going to make a Deku Tree model and make like, <laughs> and do like one branch each. That kind of doesn't make sense. <laughs> so who did the tail on that model? Who did the tail on model? I didn't even say. Who did the uh, uh, Hyrule uh, Soldiers model? Again, didn't do the same thing again, I didn't even say. Happy Mask Guy? It doesn't say. Who did the Deku Barbers? You know, like the big Deku Barbers. That was got in those three heart containers, which I lost straight away. <laughs> but there you go. I think that's pretty much everything. Let's figure it out. There we go. You just press backspace. Right. There's not really much else you can do in this, but there you go. I think I'll make a break here. Alright, let's just say. I think I'll make a stop here, but that's pretty much it for this game. Mm, now people are probably going to be asking me, Oh, where do you download this game? And it's like, well, just Google it. It's not very hard to find. Uh, I'm not going to share the link because for some reason Nintendo really hates it when people share fan games. I don't know why. Uh, apparently it's because there's a lot of people at Nintendo, there's like over a thousand employees and one person says yes you can do this and then another person says no you can't. But the majority of Nintendo employees are saying no, you can't do fan games. I, I think that that's a really bad idea because you're just basically just losing customers or just getting hated. <laughs> but there you go. But I can understand, like I said earlier, I can understand if the Let's Play, uh, not Let's Play, I can understand if the fan project is actually gaining actual profit. Now, if, if someone gets paid, let's say, a thousand pounds to make this game, we'll just pretend that they do, then you can do a season disease. That's that's definitely fair and square. But if you're doing it out of pure passion in your spare time, and you're just trying to give them basically free advertising, it's strange because Capcom and Sega, they both allow people to make fan games, like the Sonic fan games and the Mega Man fan games, and yeah, there's a lot of those two uh, franchise fan games, but yeah, you know, it's like, I don't get why Nintendo can't be like Sega or Capcom by just allowing people to just do what they want, as long as it's free anyway, <laughs> but we'll just leave it as that. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to actually show your support, you may tick like, share, or subscribe to my channel. You can even do all three of them if you want to. So yeah, and with that, I'll end up the video. So thanks you for watching.